Make sure you share these videos with any driver out there who you feel is having a rough time doing ride share, especially now that these apps are really messing with us. I try to go through top to bottom with how I drive here in Phoenix and I show people how staying disciplined usually gets you better benefits than going out there and just letting these algorithms do whatever they want to do with you. So, you know, share it on Facebook, Instagram, whatever you do, because we got to do what we can to get these algorithms to see us as valuable drivers and to stop taking advantage of us. The more we stick together, the more we can change these algorithms to be on our side instead of us following what they're trying to make us do. All right, it's about what, 8.30 almost. I got about 139 miles left till empty. Like I said, I ain't drove in a couple of days, so hold up for a second. Let me kind of show you what I'm talking about down here. Yeah, so there I go, about 139 miles. Last time I drove was like two days ago. So it's, I've been sitting on this for a couple of days right there. But yeah, I'm about to go out here right now and see if I can't make some of this damn money. Let me see something real quick. I want to at least see if I'm in the surge area somewhere before I even leave my driveway. Let me make sure. All right, they still loading up over there. Let me go over here real quick, see where we loading up on Uber. They're probably gonna make me choose which car because like I said, I ain't drove in a couple of days. Yeah, they're gonna make me choose which car I'm gonna do. All right. Yeah, ain't no surge nowhere around here. Nowhere, so since there ain't no surge, let's throw on Lux real quick. I don't know if I should go put gas in this thing or not. Like I said, I got almost a half a tank. I probably won't need to fill up again until, shoot, what is it? Today is Friday, probably till like Saturday. Yeah, maybe Saturday night. Let me see if I can roll this till Saturday night. I'm gonna see what I can do with this. Keep some weight off them rear shocks. Let's go pick up some big people and we go riding around with a full tank of gas. Shit, I end up blowing my shocks out. <laughs> Y'all know we be having too good of a time out here. Let's see, hopefully they give me something before I get over to, I might just go downtown. I might go downtown Phoenix tonight. It's kind of overcast a little bit. I don't think ASU gonna have nothing jumping on that side. So it's like, yeah. Let's cruise on downtown. Shoot, I'm gonna hit y'all back in a minute. Just want to let y'all know this is how we starting. Let's make it happen. Night's off to a pretty slow start, but I got a 250 surge sitting right down the street. That's probably about a half mile away. I just did a quick ride on Lyft real quick. That one there, it was like 880. I mean, it was a college kid. They were just hanging out like almost four miles, about $2 a mile. So I swung over, picked him up real quick. I mean, it was 11 minute ride real quick, real quick. And so I wanted to come over here to start driving on this side anyways. So it kind of got me down to where I wanted to be. But the problem is, is that there is no surge down here. I'm, I'm trying to get down here again, down to like the Gilbert Chandler area. That's where I'm trying to get to tonight. Because the surge, I think it's going to be, I'll be jumping over here. Like you already got five over just north of Gilbert right there. So I'm thinking the surge is going to be on this side of town. Downtown is kind of dead right now. So it'll probably be jumping about 11 or 12 o'clock, so I still got about two hours to get over there. So I'm gonna kind of cruise around here, kind of pick this apart, and then see what I can do to go to the other side of town. Meanwhile, just listen to my music, man. Surge real quick. I'm about to see exactly what I can do. I'm 985 for that, no, seven miles away for a four mile trip for 90, no, man, that's like 12 miles for $9. It's like, man, hell no. 12 miles for 985, yeah, get that shit off my phone. No, <laughs> we ain't doing that. Yeah, I just passed through a surge right back over here while I was cruising, listening to music and shit. That little $2 one looks okay. Yeah, three miles for $6.34, let's try that shit. If they give it to me, they give it to me. If don't, I mean, it's $6.34 for about three miles. That's cool. Let's go look at another one. Uh, $8 for six miles? No, those are not good. That's almost seven miles, so that's about a dollar a mile right there. Yeah, I already passed Dobson already, so if they give it to me, I'm going to have to get rid of it. See, I hate when they do that shit right there. Uh, let's get up here and turn at this light right here see that's the thing man they keep doing that shit they they fucking study long study wrong it was right up dobson so i was gonna turn but now i just go up this way and get it ain't no big fucking deal but still i was right there at dobson i could have made it i gotta cut through a fucking neighborhood and you know these motherfuckers be like putting big ass speed bumps in the middle of the street and shit making you go like five miles an hour it's like man come on man i hate that so they're gonna swing, they gonna swing me around and I'm gonna get back over to Dobson that way. So, well, I swear these apps, well, they pushing me tonight. Do not play with me. Don't play with me. I'm gonna turn Lux off real quick because they ain't giving me nothing anyways. So I did that eight. Now I'm, I mean I, yeah, I did that uh eight dollar one. Now I'm gonna do the six dollar one real quick. Like I said, it's not a whole lot of miles, it's not a whole lot of money, but whatever. I went what? 
about three miles with the other one through it. So six miles, I went total six miles. will make about $14, $15 out of six miles. So I'm still doing okay right now. I'm just making sure I don't do no 50 cent a mile shit. Definitely no 50 cent a mile shit. No dollar miles. Keep all them dollar miles out of my face. The good money is out there if you patient a little bit. Like I said, for the people that like to drive them high volume miles and everything, let them have them. They want to sit around and talk about, oh, well, tax time, I'm going to have write-offs. Knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. I say, because I'm not trying to have no write-offs. I'm trying to have enough money to pay my bills right now. I'm not worried about tax time. I'm worried about making sure rent's paid. So you so worried about, you know, April the 15th, you're going to mess up in, in November. You're going to mess up in December. We ain't got no money. Because you, your landlord ain't going to be able to hear you say, well, you know, I got some tax write-offs coming on my miles. I could just pay rent with that, can't I? Hell no, you can't pay rent with no tax write-offs. We need money. You need cash to pay rent. You need cash to pay your utility company. You can't call the utility company. Well, you know what? I drove about 1,500 miles last week. Can I use some of those miles as, as a payment? Hell no, you can't use those miles as a payment. You got money? No, because I, I put it all in gas and I broke my car down. Yeah. Well, you ass out then. You ass out. I did that real quick Uber trip real quick. It wasn't too bad. And 634, like I said, it was just right around the corner. I hate when they do that. All right, right here. 634. And that was it. You know, 1.3 miles, two miles away. It was about three miles total for 634. Two bucks a mile. I'll take it. Two dollar surge. Otherwise, it would have been 434 for about three miles. So that two dollar surge kind of helped out a little bit. But right now, I'm not sitting in surge. They kept trying to send me rides over and over and over. So I just went offline. I just put it on, you know, stop new requests. They got eight dollars sitting right up here. I would go up there. I'm not too far. I can actually do like either take the highway and get there real quick and get the eight dollars or... I could, but it's it's probably about, mm, I would say, maybe three, four miles away. So it'll be $2 a mile for me to go get it. It will be about $2 a mile for me to go get that eight. But I want to go south because there's nothing north. I would like to go south down here. This is where all the money is. There's still nothing downtown, but south is where everything is. I don't want that to push me north, so I'm going to start, you know, working my way across a little bit. Ah, I just did an update to it. Uber driver's being updated. Try again later. Whatever. Cause I hit update by mistake when I was giving them a ride and it started updating. So we know what the surge is over there on Uber and it's more in the South area. So I'm not going North no matter what. So let me see, what do I got over here when this slow ass shit opens? Here we go with the goddamn Wish app. It's like, okay, I'm gonna open up Wish. Lyft just needs to change their shit to Wish. I'm opening up Wish. These motherfuckers are the old busted ass server. And they ain't got nothing really nowhere anyways. I'll go online just because I'm gonna use Lux for a while to get around. I'm gonna go around the corner and sit. I'm just sitting in the neighborhood right now. So I'm gonna get out of this neighborhood where I dropped him off. I'm gonna go sit at this gas station around the corner, kind of kick back, actually do nothing. Go get me some crusty dusties. Actually, I got the last two cookies that dude bought me. I got my last two cookies with me. Now these motherfuckers are real crusty dusties. I mean, these things are flaky as hell. I mean, they like, the moment you pick one up, it's like dust all in your lap. These are the original Krusty Dusties right here. <laughs> These motherfuckers is all over the place. Hey, this car is nuts. All right, there you go. Yeah, I'm like, shit. These They need to change the name on the package, the Krusty Dusties, for real, because these motherfuckers is crusty and dusty. Worse than them goddamn old-ass donuts I be eating. I thought them old-ass donuts was flaky and dusty as shit. These cookies is worse. My dogs was eating the shit off the floor because I kept picking one up. I ate one in the house. The motherfucker was falling apart in my hand. My dogs was having a field day. It was like, oh shit, we get cookies. I'm like, I'm trying to eat the motherfucker. And it's just falling through my hands all in the floor and shit. All in my lap, bouncing off my legs and shit. I'm like, damn, man. It's like, I can't even eat this motherfucker. It's like raining cookies all over my dogs. Shit falling all on the back of their heads. They just all around me having a field day. This motherfucker's like chicken on a ranch. <laughs> I was like, these fucking dogs going berserk right now. They loving this shit. They like, man, open up another one of those crusty dusties, goddammit. We had a field day with that. Appreciate it. And it was like big ass chunks falling off. And I learned my lesson. I hurry up and I stopped opening it and I went to the kitchen and held it over the counter. Because where I was standing, man, that shit was raining chocolate chip cookies on my dog heads and shit. They was loving that shit. It was like, please buy more crusty dusties, please. Rides on lift already on Lux Rather. So I've been online with them for almost an hour. Got two rides. I mean, one ride was, this one I just did, it was almost two miles for almost $8. So almost four bucks a mile right there. And that only took me 11 minutes. And this one right here took me another 11 minutes. So 22 minutes 
I've made basically $16 in 22 minutes. You can do that shit at least three times an hour. You're making almost 50 bucks an hour. But like I said, we got to keep picking out these good rides. Just go somewhere, sit, chill, enjoy your time. Hey, don't let these motherfuckers run you ragged. Like I said, I've only driven, was that four miles right there? And then another, what, two miles right there. So about six miles, I've driven for 16 bucks. So pretty close to $3 a mile, pretty close. Not quite, but pretty close. And I'm sitting on a $2 surge right now. So I'm gonna go up here and chill at this gas station, keep doing the same thing. Just sit, chill, wait till they send you some rides that's worth your time. If it ain't worth your time, don't even, like these rides right here, fucking all, those are all lift rides, straight garbage. Wouldn't even touch those, I wouldn't even touch those rides. So let me see, where am I gonna sit? And there's, an, oh, there's a quick trip right up here. No, a circle K on this side. I can go sit at this. No, that's a 76. I'm not sitting there. 76 don't get me. No, nah, no, nah, forget that. 76 got too many homeless people walking around. So I'm going to cruise on down the street a little bit, go back to where I was sitting that quick trip. Like I said, this is what we do. You know, we park, you chill, you wait till the rides are there. So I got, what, $16 on that side. And on this side, I got about eight. Because I made about 24 bucks. You know, and I haven't even went nowhere pretty much. Just driving in circles. Nine, okay. He must have gave me a dollar tip. Let's go see if that dollar shit's back. That dollar tip shit is back. Three dollars, okay, three dollars. Uh-oh. What Lyft talking about up here? 21 bucks for... Okay, let's do it. 21 bucks for 15 miles and I'm going south. Let's go south, baby. Let's go south. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to go south, so might as well do it. I've been trying to go south all night, and they finally give me a ride to go south. Thing is, that was on the highway. They, they hit me up too late. I was already at the intersection, but I was already in the left lane. So I got to go straight and turn somewhere else. Like I said, I don't, I don't do that fucking shit. You know what? I'm not even going to do this ride. They already don't fuck me up. Cancel that ride. They don't fuck me up already because I... They, didn't, they gave it to me, and I was already past the intersection, so I ain't even going to worry about that shit. I'll let somebody else have that ride. I said, I, I hate when they do that shit. I'm sitting at a fucking intersection and they give me one always on the wrong side of the intersection where I'm sitting. So I'm like, fuck it, let somebody else have that shit. I ain't dealing with that right now. It wasn't even $2 a mile any fucking way, so ain't no big deal. I'll take this one instead. All right, $18.98, that one's $2 a mile. All right, nine miles for $18.98, I'll take this one instead. I hate fucking U-turning. That shit irritates the fuck out of me. And I know people are like, well, you, go, you miss an opportunity to get a ride. Man, fuck that, somebody else can have that. I, like I said, I'm not a greedy driver. If you want the ride, go take the ride. It's for you. I don't want it. I'll just get another one. And sure enough, another one always pops up. Why? Because motherfuckers need rides. And guess what? The algorithm's going to find the person to for this ride, and they're going to give the right price for me. They're not going to give me a shitty price because they know I don't take shitty prices. They look at my AR. I don't do shitty prices. So they're going to give me a better ride. They're going to say, well, he don't want that ride. Give him a better one. They always do that shit. They give me a better one. Starting to send out some crazy stuff now. Yeah. Not even thinking about that. 29 miles for like 30 something dollars. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. At $3 a mile, I should be getting paid like $75 for that. Some shit. Give me like almost 90 bucks. So if you would have gave me 75, I would have took it. But fuck that shit. It's like, nah, that, that's way too far for 30 something dollars. But I can get, like I said, I just did a real quick ride right now. This right here. This was $20 for nine miles. So I went $20 to get nine miles just now, and I can get $40 to go 18 miles. So $40 will pay me 18. They just tried to give me 29 miles for $32. So why would I drive 29 miles when I can get paid more to do two nine mile rides and to make $40? So I'm gonna end up with going 18 miles. So I'm saving 12 miles and making almost $8 more. Driving 12 miles less making $8 more doing it my way. That's why I don't do them fucking nature hikes. They're trying to send $32 for 29 miles. That's like, no, man, that's a whole, like I said, I could do two of these and make 40 and drive 18 miles to make 40 instead of driving 30 miles to make 32. It, that shit don't make, and I don't see how people don't do the math real quick and see that shit. They see these big ass numbers, like, ooh, $32. But I'm like, dude, you get 20 for going less than 10 miles. Why would you take a $32, $32 ride to go 29 miles 
but you could do two two trips for less than 10 miles each and get more money. You're driving 12 miles less. You're driving 12 miles less getting eight dollars more. Shit don't make no sense, man. These people they just they don't they don't think it through, man. They don't think it through. But I'm sitting on the other side right now at Tempe. They got a big old concert going on, like a fair or something going on right up here. That's why all these things are lit up. They got some kind of fair or concert going on. I just had a ride. It was $16 for like six miles, but it was on the other side of the traffic and they got the roads blocked. So I had to cancel it because I was finna go to them. I was right there. I was right next to them. But all of a sudden it was like, okay, I can't get through. So I was like, shit, cancel. Because I wasn't going to go all the way around, drive three whole miles to go around. Because it was like I was maybe a mile away from them. But instead of going a mile straight through, they had the road closed. I had to go like three miles all the way around to get to them. Like $20 for that? I could do that. Because that's keeping me away from that shit right there. So I'll do that right there. Because I'm not going back to where that was. Whoop, let me turn this down. Yeah, I'm not going back to that damn concert area. I'm not. I'll go do a Mill Avenue drop in a heartbeat. So I'm going to go pick these people up real quick, go do a Mill Avenue drop, and then get right back in the mix again. But y'all had to can, and this one's longer, you know, this was only $2 a mile. The one I turned down was about $3 a mile. But I had to turn it down because traffic was taking me all the way around for three miles, so it was no longer $3 a mile. It was dropping down to about $2 a mile because I had to go way around instead of where I had to go. So sometimes you got to cancel a trip because it's just like it. the math didn't work out. And once the math changes, you've got to change your analysis of it and go, wait a minute. If this road is closed and instead of me being one mile and I have to go 2.8 miles, that's a whole 1.8 miles more than what I was supposed to go. Almost two whole miles more. So that changes the whole dynamic. I'm not getting no extra money for that. So I had to cancel that. If Lyft would be like, okay, if you have to drive longer to get to the person because of a road closure or something like that and we'll pay you more, I would start doing rides like that. But if I can't do the ride based on what I see on my screen because of a road closure or something like, nope, deal's over. The deal's off. I don't want that deal. The deal's off. Still sitting up by ASU because of that last ride I just did. Still no tips tonight. Four rides, no tips. But I did that $18.72 for $2 and that $18.27. <laughs> so let me see how many was this. This was $20, miles, $20 for nine miles. And this one was $20 for less. When I was for 11 miles so same damn amount of money but i went two miles further for that that's how these upfront fares work they ain't really paying you based on mileage and shit like that it is messing with you right now because i mean this one right here like i said this one less miles 30 minutes less miles and this one over here did me 22 minutes with more miles so you know eight minutes less but you know two more miles just how it is i had an easier flow of traffic or whatever but that's how you can end up with like doing a trip where you got more miles but you're getting paid less money because they go oh well it's gonna take you less time to do it they're screwing with us you know what i'm saying they messing with us they mess with the time and the miles they're kind of jacking around with us so i did that but all the good surge is still down south i've been trying to get south all night and i ain't been able to get down there i wanted to get down to chandler they still down there surge and i ain't been able to get down there all night they keep me up here they keep taking me east-west. Like I keep going back and forth, back and forth like this. And I'm trying to get down here. So I might have to put on Uber and get Uber to drop me off down there. Because Lyft, they want to keep me up here for whatever reason. And I ain't trying to be here. I'm trying to be down here. That's where the money's at. So let me open up real quick. See something. Let me open up Uber real quick. And we're going to see exactly where the money's at. Let's see where these dusty motherfuckers got my money at. Yep, see down south, they got all the money down south. I'm telling you, it was something going on down south today. So I'm just gonna have to, you know, do it on my own gas. I'm gonna turn these raggedy motherfuckers on and I guarantee they're gonna give me some weird shit. Like $4 for like five miles. Even worse, $10 for like 15 or 16 miles. It's like, no, no. We cool on that shit. We not doing that. And that's way up in Phoenix. Nah, we cool. 13 miles away for 10 bucks? Nah. Because first you got to go south. I got to go south down to southern, pick up somebody, then turn around and go north all the way back up to Phoenix. It's like, nah, I'm cool on that shit. It's like, that's not a good ride for me. That's for somebody else. That's designed for somebody else. Let me see if somebody will give me a ride going south. Good. Gave it to another driver. Cool, cool. That other driver's like, hey, that's my neighborhood. I'm going home. Yeah, exactly. Take that shit. That's all you, brother. That's all you.
twelve dollars for like nine miles. Mm, no, nah, that's well, that's going down towards Chandler though. That's actually that wasn't too bad. That was going towards Chandler. Let's see if we got another one going towards Chandler. Nope. Hey, wait a minute. Let's do that one. Shit. Eleven eleven dollars for like four miles. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. Look at that shit. Eleven dollars for four miles. Let's go, you dusty motherfucker. Let's turn. Whoops. Yeah, I'm gonna turn off new requests, but I wanna go over here and turn this off. Go offline with them. So let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna stop requests with Uber real quick just so they don't keep messing with me and shit trying to send me a bunch of bullshit. But yeah. Let's go pick up Dahlia. The Dalai Lama looking ass motherfucker. <laughs> Nine six seven five miles. No, I'm cool on that shit. It's not enough. About a three dollar surge. That's not enough. That's not enough. I got four seventy five right down the street. Ten twenty two for that. Nah, still not enough. Give me at least two dollars a mile and I'll take it. They coming up too short. They coming up too short with these trips. It's like all right, just drop those girls off right there. Twelve dollars for that? No, definitely not. Nope, nope. Like I said, they're not giving me no good miles right now. They're giving me too long of these trips and they're coming out to be like a dollar a mile even with a surge. Like that, that's not even a dollar a mile. That's less than a dollar a mile. It's like 17 miles for 16 bucks with a $3 surge. I'm like, no, no, we don't do that, man. 18, 19 miles for $18, we don't do that. We don't do that. So that was a trip I just did right there. 3.8, almost a dollar 25 surge. So $12 for that, nah, we're cool on that shit. Like I said, it's just like, they're giving us too many miles. They're giving me like 18 miles and shit like that, but they're only giving me like, like there's some 16 miles for $14. 16 miles for about 14, nah, see that's not enough. I can't do that, that's not a trip for me. Cause wherever that is, that's somebody else. See, it's like way too far. I'm not trying to do that right there. Cause they gotta give me something a lot shorter than that. There's another one, 24 miles for $19. 11 miles for that, nah, I'm not doing that either. Like I said, if they can't give me something, I'm at 475 surge right now. So let me see if I can whip this thing around. Well, I'm at 225. Damn, where the fuck you turn around at here? All right, let me turn around real quick. 932 for that? No, I don't want that either. Like I said, I'm at 225 for surge. I should have had four of surge, but I passed it up, I think. So I'm sitting there looking at the damn shit, and I passed my 475. They got a light in the middle of nowhere right here. And I'm like, okay. So I'm going to go sit at this 7-Eleven right here. $19 for 19 miles? Nah, that's not for me either. So I'm gonna, I've got my 475 back. So I'm going to sit at this gas station right here. $13 for that? Nah, I don't want that either. Yeah. Take that shit off my phone. $13 for 13 miles? That's a 475 surge on that? Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Like I said, they keep giving me these bunk ass trips. You know what? I'm sitting on 475. Give me something that I can deal with. 475, give me at least minimum, you know, two, three dollars a mile. Because these dollar a mile trips ain't, that's not what I'm trying to do right now. $12 for eight miles. No, nah, not on the 475 surge. I'm not doing that. He said they got to come up with something better than that. Come up with something better. I know they got something in there for me. Come on, give me some. You give me some high AR level shit. Give me some low AR shit. 980 for five? Nope. Definitely not doing that. Not with a 475 surge I'm sitting on. That means they're trying to give me $15, 22 miles? Definitely not. Definitely not that. That was an Uber X share anyways. See, Uber's trying to make money on me right now. Because they're like, shit, we just gave this dude $11 for like four miles. <laughs> it's like, and that was with a dollar surge on it. So they're trying to get their money back real quick. They're like, who the hell gave them that ride? Shit. Whoever did, thank you, Brittany. Landon, whoever gave me that fucking ride at the controls, appreciate it. <laughs> now give me another one. Hook me up, Brittany. Come on, Brittany. I know you're on the controls tonight. Get your shit together. Put your hair in a ponytail and start sending me some shit. Be like, I got work to do. Let me put my hair in a ponytail. About to help Jeff make some money tonight. Come on, Brittany. Let's go. Put that shit up in a ponytail. We got work. <laughs> 920 for that. Four miles. Oh, man. Four miles to 920. That's a little over $2 a mile, but man, that's just, give me something better than that. Come on. Oh, fuck it, I'll take it. It's right down the street. All right, Brittany, thanks. Appreciate it. Raggedy motherfucker. Just pulled over to wipe the car down. Just dropped that guy off real quick. I had him on Uber, though, so that was that quick trip right there. 
Let me see if they give me a screen. Oh, yeah, I'm sitting in surge real nice now. Yeah. But that was that trip I just did right there. Still ain't got no tips from nobody tonight. Hey, I got that $3 tip. Oh, that was earlier. But, yeah, so that was that mile and a half. You know, it was three miles away, mile and a half, almost $4 a mile. Then that one was 3.8. So let me go back in. Let me see if I can get some surge over here. I mean, it's looking pretty good. I can drop down and get that nine, but let me see what they're going to give me while I'm sitting here. I'm not going to turn on lift until lift starts paying. $4, not bad. Oh, these are all garbage trips. Look at that. 27 miles to $27. Oh, seven miles Uber X share. Where is that at? With a four dollar surge, nah, we cool on that shit. Yeah, we got all of these here. Ten miles, eleven miles for three thirteen eighty three. Yeah, I'm not doing no motherfucking Uber X share shit. They can kiss my ass. I'll do that one though. A mile and a half, like three miles for nine eighty seven. Yeah, almost four miles for nine eighty seven. Yeah, we'll do that one. Like I said, I'll keep doing these short ass trips all fucking day. Let's go. I'll do these short trips all motherfucking day. But if they start trying to give me some bullshit, yeah, I'm not messing with them. Not messing with them. So let me go over here and see if I can work my way to this parking lot, get out of here. Like I said, I was sitting over here chilling for a second, but this is what I do, you know what I'm saying? I sit, I chill, I make sure I'm in a good area, see where all the surge is. That's why I did last ride. Last ride, pulled over, wiped the car down a little bit, took me a little quick breather. Shit, now I'm like, I'm right back into the money again. I was sitting right in surge. Had I not put it on last ride, guaranteed, they would have probably gave me another ride with no surge on it, to the middle of nowhere where they like i said you gotta use last rod stop new requests make sure you know where you at when you drop that last rod off figure out okay what's around me right now it's got to be a surge around me something's got to be around me if nothing's around you and they send you some good rods take it but if you real close to a surge go get it you never know because you might be right in a surge yeah he just canceled that that's cool with that shit you better leave my surge on there though god damn it Whatever you do, leave my surge on there. That's all I know. It better be a surge. I hate that damn shit. $15 for that? No, I'm not doing that either. Let me plug my phone in real quick. There we go. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, so I'm going to go back to where I was. He probably like, oh, man, we want to do Uber X share. Yeah, I ain't doing that shit. They probably try to hit me right back. Look at that, $12 for 12 miles. Nope, not even touching that either. Yep, yep. 15 dollars 13 miles not touching that either like i said you should have gave me the last ride i had that was a pretty decent ride but now you got to deal with me declining shit all over again and i'm gonna go down here by the highway and try to pick up this 675 because y'all got me in a 350 725 for four not touching it don't need it that's about five miles of 725 now nah, you you short about three dollars shit i'm not touching that 21 dollars for 15 miles not even close you short like nine dollars with that shit <laughs> i know math motherfucker i know math 18 dollars for like 16 miles nope dollar not even close and that one's down 25 miles for six or 26 miles for like 16 bucks man that's horrible horrible what are they doing man they really trying to give people some shit trips let me open trip radar and see what's in there no i don't want that no Yep, look at that. 14 miles for 945. And that's with a 425 surge on there. Look at that. 14 miles for 1125 with a 525 surge. Doubt it. It's like, how you gonna make that a 525 surge and it's not still not even a dollar a mile with it? It's like, no. $17 for eight miles. That's probably pretty good. Let me see if I can do something better. But man, that's uh, two and a half miles away. Center Street and University, that's that's behind me. Man, do I wanna do that? Eight and a half miles for 17, but that's $2 a mile. Man, it's behind me. No, I don't want that one for sure. Let's try that one right there. We'll see if that one behind me is gonna be okay. If they give it to me soon enough, I can turn around. If they don't give it to me, I'm not. $13 for eight miles? Nope, definitely don't want that. Nope, nope. 10 for six? Nope, don't want that. Nope, I'm gonna go over here to this circle. Uh, quick trip right here and chill for a second. Like I said, they throwing me a whole lot of trips and I can't drive and do this shit at the same time. 1036 for like 12 miles. Nope, not doing that either. So they're gonna keep throwing me trips until they can throw me off. That's what they're doing right now. 
So I'm in a 525 surge. I can go get a 950 down the street, but I'm like, eh, I don't really feel like driving down the street right now. I'm cool where I'm at, because what's down there? South Horn, like Walmart and shit. There's only a couple of blocks down, but man, I'm not worried about that shit. They need to give me something that's good now. 10 bucks for nine miles, or seven, 6.5 miles? Nah, not with a 525 surge on it. Nah, that's cool on that shit. Nope, not with a 525 surge. We're not doing that. Uh, 17 for that. What, nine for seven miles? Nope. What else we got? 16 for 18, 19 miles. 12 for that. Nah, all these miles are hideous. All these miles. And I got a 525 surge. This is pitiful. Pitiful. Sitting on the 525 surge, and this is the best they can do. Look at that. 12 miles for $12 with a five surge. Doubt it. Keep that shit. Get that to somebody else. That's a straight ride. That's not even a fucking... They're going to make me go down the street and get this 950 in a minute. They want to say, oh, we'll give you $5. You ain't giving me shit, really. You're trying to play me right now. I'm not stupid. You're trying to play me. Because in a minute, I'm going to jump my ass on Lux and just leave y'all motherfuckers alone completely. See, so they ain't got no reservations in here for the night. Nope, nothing's in there. Uh, let's see, do I drop down to the highway and get that 950? Nah, because they ain't really giving me shit anyways. If they gave me something decent, I'd take it. Now I went up to $10 over there, and I ain't sitting on shit over here. Uh, y'all done fucked up now. Let's go. Now y'all done fucked up. They're going to be like, this motherfucker just went and got $10. Yep. 10 for that? Nope. And tell you what we're going to do. Paw Patrol. Bam, bam. Let's ride, motherfucker. Let's ride. Nope. Don't even want that. We're on Paw Patrol right now. You done fucked up. I told you. Now let's go. Because on Paw Patrol, I get my money, goddammit. I'm going to get my cash. You just fucked up. You fucked up. Let's go and see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. All right, we got, what, $10 to go? Cool, let's roll, let's roll. This little Prius will get up and do what he's got to do. Let's go, little baby Prius. Let's roll, let's roll. Let's go get this 10 bucks. We on the move, baby. We on the move. Where we at? Oh, we gonna get this. Let's go get this 10 bucks real quick. Let me hit these windows. Let's hit over real quick. All right, close the top, because that top is loud as hell. All right, let's see what we got. Where we at? Yeah, we're not too far off from it. If they pull it, they pull it. But I'm like right on top of it. I think I still got that other five dollars. So we'll see what they give me. Well, I don't think I got that five dollars because I think they actually took it from me. <laughs> Those raggedy bastards. They took the five dollars from me. I was like, whatever, motherfucker. I don't even need the five. Y'all ain't giving me shit for it anyways. So we're gonna cruise over here and get this ten, and I'm gonna jump up on the highway right here. All right. So I just got on, went over. I got seven fifty now. We're going to get the 10 and I'm going to jump off the highway right here. Let's get the 10 and get off right here. Let's get it. Let's go. All right. Let's get off. That's 750. All right. You better give me that 10, motherfucker. Because y'all know I hit it. Give me my 10. All right. Let me cruise up. There we go. We got the 10. Let's get off the highway right here. And I'm right by a Walmart, so I could possibly get a Walmart pickup for like two or three fucking miles and make that, you know, maybe $15 for like two miles. So now that I'm off the highway, let's go back to Uber X. Doot, doot. Let's go back. Anybody that knows why I do that, don't ask me in the comments. Why do you do that? Just watch me, motherfucker. Watch me. I'm like common sense. I'm using it because they don't give you a lot of requests. That's why I use Pet Patrol. You don't get bombarded with requests. Look at that. 12 for three. 14 for that. 14, 5 for 13. Man, they got all shit trips. 19 for, oh, that's horrible. 19 for 19, and that's with a $10 surge. Holy shit. So they're trying to give me $10 to go like 19 miles. 
17 for nine with the $10 surge. Man, these motherfuckers are giving up some shitty trips. These are all shit trips. Yeesh. Horrible, horrible. Let me sit over here by this light real quick so I can do some fucking calculations. Look at that shit. Nine, I got a $10 surge. And that's nine miles. Nine miles for $17. So they're trying to give me $7 for that. Whoops. Yeah, let's take that. Fuck. I hit it by mistake, but I'm like, fuck it. I'll take it. All right. Well, I'm going like $14 or whatever for whatever the fuck I'm doing this for. Man, that pisses me off. I made a mistake and hit it, but it wasn't a bad trip any fucking ways. They gave me $4 for like five miles or something like that. So I'm getting $14 to go like five miles. It's basically what I really wanted. I really wanted $5 a mile, but I ended up getting $3 a mile. That's cool. I'll take that. Let me open up everything back up. Windows open, sunroof open. Let's go get this motherfucking money real quick. Fuck these ragamuffins. Shit. You ain't giving me no dollar a mile trips. I don't do dollar a mile trips. We go. We go. Coolest thing. So my last Uber ride was this guy here and his name's Chris. Coolest dude, coolest dude. He gave me a $5 tip and I got another $5 tip right here. That $14.20 for that 1.5 miles. Check that out. $14.20, 1.5 miles. But he gave me 1.9, 19, like I said, I'm doing okay. That's what the $10 surge right there too. So basically this guy started driving a couple of months ago. He's in between jobs. He started driving a couple of months ago and he's been, he says, yeah, you know, I've been taking almost everything they send me. So I'm like, bro, you got to hit up the YouTube channel, man. So I gave him the card and everything. And hopefully we can get him on the channel so he can learn, you know, how to drive better, how to accept trips. And he was like, yeah, yeah, I'm it's not paying a whole lot. This guy, I'm glad I caught him. Like I said, I'm very glad I picked him up. Very glad. Because we're going to change him into the type of driver that can make a lot of money per hour. He lives in a good area. He drives days and not nights, but we can kind of flip it a little bit. We can get him to do like midnights or something like, you know, probably stop at about nine o'clock PM, but we can help him get some money. So it's cool that I'm glad I met him, gave him the channel, his name, like I said, his name's Christopher. If he, he might, you might see him in the comments going, hey, that was me, you never know. But like I said, let's help these people out, man. We got a chance to help out drivers to help everybody make money. Is it, and that's my goal right there, man. Just to get a lot of drivers involved and help drivers make money so we ain't all starving out here. And we ain't all looking silly driving around for a dollar a mile. Because he was like, yeah, man, I do it like, I know the, we should be going for like a dollar a mile. I said, no, actually we shouldn't, man. I said, that's what people say. I told them, like, we go for higher. We go for like $5 a mile, $6 a mile. We got guys $13, $14 a mile. There's guys out here doing that right now. And he's like, what? Like, yeah. <laughs> so hopefully we get this guy on the channel and he really learns like how to drive. Cause I think he can be a very lucrative driver. And I think he's got a van so he can do like XL. He can go a level up. So maybe we can help him out, see how much money we can get this guy to make. And he'll be like, you know what? I'm never going back to a W2. Not if I'm making money like this. We'll see. All right. So let me go back on Uber real quick. See what Uber's got in store for me. I'm at 29% AR, 35% cancels, $14 for 19 miles, not happening. What's in there? 752 for 13 miles, not happening. Man, look at that. That's crazy. And that's going all the way back. That's 17 mile drive all the way back to my house. No, I'm cool on that shit. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to turn off Uber right now. Because Uber ain't got none. Look at these. These are all garbage trips. We're going to just turn them off real quick because they have no surge. There's nothing really jumping right now with them. Let me go look back at Lux. Let's turn on Lux. Like I said, Uber did what Uber's supposed to do. They, they did all right. We'll look at the money later. I have no idea how much I've made so far, but it's been an okay night. Like I said, I dropped that little quick huddle tonight. You know what I'm saying? I, when I dropped that quick huddle, damn, still down south, they doing good. I got to go down south. I got to turn around. I got to go down south. South has been booming all night. So I'm going back down south to give me some money down there. Cause this is about as close as I'm gonna get actually. They ain't sending me south for nothing. Yeah, but I did that quick huddle tonight. And I'm telling you, man, when I drop huddles like that and we sitting there, you know, we regrouping in a locker room, we chatting and shit like that, that hypes me up too. That hypes me up too. I'm not just dropping content for y'all. I'm dropping this content for all of us. We all need this motivation. We all gotta go out there and make this money. So I love the comments, the back and forth, the let's do it. You know, let's go out there and get it. I love that, man. It's like we in, we all in the huddle together. We in the huddle together. We know we got a war coming up, and we got to go out there and make this money. That's why I love doing little quick. 
I'm gonna start doing that more often, you know what I'm saying? Just dropping real quick huddles, because I know a lot of people don't have time to look at my two hour videos, three hour lives, five hour lives. So we gonna do the quick huddles, just to get a lot of people, you know, engaged and ready to go for the day. So every once in a while, I might throw one up there. You know, I'm not gonna make it a, a thing because YouTube don't like me doing that shit. And I don't really like doing huddles, but I'm gonna start getting into it so we can go out there, get this money, be inspired to go make the money the way we know how. And just when people are trying to tell us opposite of what we should be doing, we gotta shake that shit off. But we gotta go out and drive like we know how and make these profits. Okay, here we go again with Gilbert pickups. Now in Gilbert, they have specified ride share areas. This is the ride share area Taylor specified. Taylor's nowhere close to the ride share area. So what I might have to do is just cancel this ride and just not do no Gilbert rides tonight. It was only 11 bucks for like maybe five miles. It's only a $2 mile trip. So it's not like a massive deal. And I don't think whoever this person is knows how the pick ride share works down here. So what I'm gonna do is just cancel this one, let them deal with another driver so I don't gotta deal with the shit. Like I said, I don't even like picking up in Gilbert because of how they have these specified pickups. And it's like, it never fucking works, never works for me. So I'm gonna have to cancel this one and just be done with this shit. Like I said, I don't, I don't even want this fucking ride. I don't want this ride. Cancel that shit. Like I said, they've got to do something different with their, you know, ride share, and get people to come down here and understand. Hey, this is how ride share works down here. You've got to be at your fucking pickup. You're gonna get canceled if you're not. Don't be in the fucking club when your car shows up because the pickup is down the street. Be at the spot where you're supposed to get picked up. Cause this motherfucker's like me out there. I'll cancel your ass and keep it moving. And it's not that it's a mean thing, it's a business thing. I'm not waiting on these motherfuckers, I'm just not. There's money to be made. People that have to be picked up. People that know how the ride share works out here. So for the people that don't know, you not hold my car for no 10 fucking minutes trying to figure it out. No, I've already canceled, I'm moving on. You can get the next car. I mean, that's just how I operate. I'm not a mean ass person, I'm really not. I'm a businessman. If I'm out here doing this business, taking care of this business, what Lyft and Uber need to do is send these people a message going, there is a specified rideshare pickup in the area you are in. Be at that pickup location or risk getting left. Just say that shit. Just be there or risk getting left. So tonight I'm not going to do no Gilbert pickups. I'm trying to go farther south to Chandler. Chandler's a little bit easier. So I want to go down here and do pickups so I don't got to worry about these specified pickup shits down here. I don't like that. What is that? $23 for 11, 12 miles? Fuck it, I'll do it. It's better than where I am right now, and I'm trying to go that way any fucking ways. So I'm getting paid 23 bucks to go down south. So I'm gonna go down here, navigate, and pick motherfuckers up. Did a drop, and I'm close to where I'm supposed to be right now. I'm trying to get south to Chandler. So the last drop I did was this one right here. So it was what, 12 miles, $23, almost $2 a mile. I had to drive down to pick somebody up to bring them back north a little bit. I was actually where I was supposed to be, but then I had to shoot up north a little bit. And now I'm just north of where I wanna be. I wanna be down in that red right there in that Pepto Bismol. I wanna be in the sick money. I wanna be in the Pepto money. Come on, give me the belly aching money, the Pepto Bismol. I need a cup of that. So what I'm gonna probably end up doing I'm down to 57 miles right now, 57 miles still empty. I mean, what I started out at about, well, it's like 139 or something crazy like that. So technically it's about, I don't know, 76 miles. So 76 miles, just about 76 miles. And I've made $81 on this side. And how much did I make on the Uber side? On the Uber side, there it is, $54 on that side. So I've made about $130 so far. I haven't really driven Uber a whole lot. They just not giving me nothing good. I've only been online for them about an hour and a half. They ain't really giving me shit good. So I've made about $130 off of like 70 miles. So basically almost $2 a mile, close to $2 a mile for the night. But you know, this last 57, I could probably crank out another hundred bucks with it, but then that would leave me with seven miles till empty. <laughs> And I'm not trying that shit. So I think I'm gonna go to the gas station right now. I kept thinking, oh man, I'm gonna make it till Saturday. I could probably finish out the night with this last 57 miles. Cause like I said, I've been driving, only drove 70 something miles so far. That's it, 70 something miles. So another 57 and I could call it good. I'm not gonna get 57 miles worth of driving. I guarantee I won't. But I'm gonna turn on Lux. Well, Lux is on right now. 
And so I can drop down into the pink, down to the Pepto Bismol, sick bay, looking ass motherfucker. I can go down to sick bay and pick up some sick patients. You're like, you motherfuckers got some Pepto Bismol in your belly? Pick their ass up. Or I can just go around the corner and get some gas. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cruise down to the Pepto Bismol, and then if I get a ride there, cool. I think I'm gonna do two more rides with the gas I got left. Hopefully, I get a Pepto ride from fucking sick bay. We about to find out in a second though. I had to cancel that last ride that got me down here because I was waiting and I waited like two minutes, no movement, no nothing. So I just canceled it because I knew I was sitting in the surge anyways. So I sat in the surge and I got this $5. And so if she hits me back for another ride, then she have to pay an extra $5. <laughs> it's like, you don't have me. I didn't have any surge on that ride anyway. So I didn't really care about that ride. It was a surge free ride. So I was like, yeah, at least it's taking me down to the surge. So it took me down to it. But I was like, no, this lady's taking too long. Cancel, cancel that shit real quick. Picked up this $5 surge and now I'm like, okay, now I'm just waiting on my next ride. I'm gonna go sit across the street over here, hopefully get something worth getting. She's probably gonna look at her phone and go, oh my God, he canceled me. Yep, you are right, motherfucker, you are right. I don't play that shit. If you're not ready, then you're not ready. But don't mess with me. One thing I don't like to do is just sit around and shit. It's like, no, nah, you got to be ready. You got, especially when it surge around, you got to be ready. And she had a trip that had no surge on it. it. Wasn't even my type of trip. So yeah, I'm sorry about that, but you got to move quicker than that. If you want to get a ride and you know you ain't paying surge on that ride anyways, you better get with it real quick. Well, I'm gonna sit right here in the cut, right here. It's even better than my last ride. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, if you know you ain't you ain't paying surge anyways, and you got a pretty much a dead ride, you better get to that car. Cause I'll cancel that shit real quick, sit, pick up the surge from the surrounding areas. Shit, I'll grab another ride. Okay, I decided to fill up. Oh man, didn't let me hit my receipt. Almost 14 gallons. Yep, 14 gallons of gas in a couple of days. So now I just finished wiping my car down. This is what I use to wax my car down right here turtle wax right here i already sprayed my car down while i'm getting gas kind of keep my towels and everything over there keep the car nice and shiny bing bing there we go it's time to rock and roll let's see how much we got until empty now i was down to about 57 let's see what are we at 370 all right i didn't fill all the way up i guess all right 370 until empty that'll work all right let's do it Okay, I got an Uber running right now. Let's see what exactly Uber's gonna give me. Probably nothing but a bunch of trash. I'm sitting down here in channel. Like I said, that last ride, them people irritated me because I should have had that ride and I should have took off, but they ended up, you know, she took too long. She had to cancel it. So now I've been just chilling down here for a minute. Uh, where we at? Still got a $5 surge over here. There's nothing in Chandler. There was a $12 surge at the airport a while ago. Downtown Phoenix is like it's booming right now. Like, man, I should go down there for real just to wrap my night up because I'm down here. There ain't nothing down here. But I know if I leave from down here, there ain't going to be no drivers down here. And I can get my, you know, I can get the pick of the litter down here right now because there ain't no drivers down here. But damn, it's only 1 o'clock. 2 o'clock is when the clubs start closing and everything. All the bars start closing. So I got another 40 minutes of just, like, chilling for a minute. Here we go with Uber. See what Uber's got. Maybe they got something decent. Oh, no, that's way up to Scottsdale. Damn, 20 miles for 14 bucks down there to go to Scottsdale. Shh, no, I ain't doing that shit. Nope, not for that price. Like I said, if they gave me like maybe $35, I'd go up there. Not even $2 a mile. $35 for 20 miles, I'd do it for $35. But shit, that, no, no. Damn near 20 miles for 14 bucks? No. That's damn near almost 30 minutes. You, you're looking at like $28 an hour right there for driving. 28 bucks an hour is not worth it to me. So, like I said, I'm down here in Chandler. There ain't nothing down here right now. Not a, not a damn thing. What they got at the airport? Probably two bucks, 350. No opportunities. So I'm gonna be rushing my ass up there, which is cool, cool, cool. All right. Like I said, in downtown Phoenix on Uber ain't got nothing. There's nothing on Uber, but on Lyft they got stuff down there. That's that's what throws me. Oh, Lyft is drying up anyways. Yeah, because right now, because you get down there, they're going to pull all of that. And Lyft, their, their surge drops are like instant. 
it'll be 454 50 then just like black screen it don't even go down it don't go down like okay a dollar 20 no it'd be black screen it'll go from this to go to a real small purple screen this is like a dollar 25 <laughs> they don't give you no time there ain't no leeway for that shit so yeah got five bucks and i'll hang out down here with my five bucks for a little bit see what they're gonna give me did a drop off in gilbert and of course guess where i am in gilbert doing another pickup guess where i am at that same motherfucking ride share pickup spot right here where you pick up people and guess where this girl is down here on the fucking corner six dollar ride i'm telling you man six fuck and now luckily i dropped somebody off down here so i dropped somebody off down here then i was like okay cool now i'm down here i'll just pick somebody up once again this fucking shit motherfucker sitting down the street oh now she's walking towards me okay i was about to fucking cancel this shit and go can't stand shit like that man it's like motherfuckers be by your pen i'm on my way to do a nature hike right now it's 14 miles away from me 16 minutes to go get them but it's coming back towards me my goal is to go out there grab them and hopefully get an airport ride all the way back to my house because there's no drivers out here tonight. It's two o'clock in the morning, bars and everything are closing, so I'm getting really good rates right now. This is almost a $2 a mile rate. It's pretty good right now. I'm getting almost 40 bucks for this ride, and it's like 14 miles for like a five mile trip, something weird like that. It's almost 40 miles. But when I'm out there, usually in the morning, there's a lot of scheduled rides for the airport from out here all the way back to my house, and nobody ever takes them. So I'm gonna go on Uber and I'm gonna go on Lyft both and get an airport ride from out here all the way to my house. Let's see if this shit works. I could have swore that motherfucker said $32. It said $22.65 for 20 fucking miles. Are you fucking serious? I swear that shit said $32. That shit said 20 and the upfront says $22.65. See these motherfuckers, boy, I swear. I think they be playing with us. I, I recorded it when I was on my way. I didn't record the screen when it was giving me the fucking ride. I should have recorded the screen when it gave me the ride because I swear that shit said $32. And now it's saying $22.65 with the upfront 20. See, man, I don't know. It's something tricky with these fucking apps. They're doing some shit. They're doing some shady shit. Because I would have not took this fucking ride if I'd have been like, oh, man, wait a minute. So it's fucking, you know, 20 miles for $22. I wouldn't have took it. I wouldn't have fucking took it. I'd have been like, hell, I'm not doing no 20 miles for no $22. These motherfuckers, boy, I swear, they lying like a motherfucker, boy. They lying. Because that shit was not what it was. Nah. That's not what it was supposed to be. Not a single fucking tip tonight on these motherfuckers. Not a single tip. And that was that was a lie. That was a $32 fucking ride. They made it $22 fucking dollars. Lying sacks of shit. Man, I swear, I can't stand these lying ass fucking apps. That shit straight up said 32 fucking dollars. And all of a sudden it says 22.65. Record y'all fucking trips, man. Record this shit. Because these motherfuckers is lying. They stealing from us, man. They fucking stealing from us, I'm telling you. Can't stand these raggedy motherfuckers. Man, that pisses me the fuck off. 20 fucking miles for $22 on Lux. Fucking pisses me off, man. I swear. Because that is not what the fucking deal was. That is not what, man. Fucking irritating, irritating. He just tipped me like four bucks. 418, but still, that trip was supposed to be $32. So even at, I would have took the 32 and been cool with it. But the fact that it says that shit, that pisses me the fuck off. 26 fucking dollars for that trip. And that trip was supposed to be $32. That pisses me off. Like, the tip don't even fucking make me happy about it. It, it, so it was a fuck. I'm gonna let, I swear to God, I, I gotta let Lyft know. I gotta, I'm on the road right now, but when I get home, I'm gonna message these motherfuckers and ask them what happened. Because that shit was like 32 fucking dollars, and now it says it went down to 22. Old lying fucking bastards. This is all the shit they sending me now. Just like uber sending me a bunch of bullshit Liv just tried to send me a trip going backwards in the opposite direction for 24 fucking dollars i'm like fuck no look at this shit six dollars and 20 cents for that shit man fuck no i'm not messing with these people man i'm not fucking with these people like i'm not even trying to do no shit like that nope 
I'm so fucking irritated right now. I'm so irritated right now. Because I know what the fuck I saw. Look at that shit. Way the fuck out in Fountain Hills. You know how fucking far that is? Fucking Fountain Hills is way out in the middle of no fucking where. It's like, shit, the restaurant's probably closed. Uber X share, three fucking dollars and 40 cents for like 10 miles. These motherfuckers is crazy, man. They straight tripping. Three dollars and 40 cents. Like, man, it's 2 o'clock in the fucking morning. It's 2.30. If you need to use Uber X share at 2.30 in the morning, you need to walk where the fuck you going. Look at this shit. All these motherfuckers, man. These trips is crazy right here. I'm on a highway, and these motherfuckers sending bullshit trips. Ain't nobody fucking none of these trips. Man, they fucking crazy for this shit. Yeah, but I'm irritated right now. Irritated. $17 for 17 miles? Nah, I'm cool on that shit. And that's going all the way downtown. Shit, doubt it. What is that, 13 miles for eight bucks? Nope. None of this shit, none of it. $11 for that, what is that? Fucking 15 miles? Still, no. Nah. Ain't nobody trying to do none of this shit, none of it. All these trips is fucking garbage. All of them garbage. Lose my spot in the queue. I was never in a queue. Raggedy motherfuckers. Like, you gonna lose your spot in the queue? What fucking queue? I was never in a queue. Shit. Whatever queue y'all trying to put me in ain't worth no fucking money. Motherfuckers got me way out in the middle of nowhere trying to put me in a fucking queue. Got your fucking mind. So I'm about to drop down here. Hit this 750. They got 17 and 19. They're all kind of crazy. Hold up, Paw Patrol. Fuck this shit. Let's play with these motherfuckers. It's a $19 surge sitting there. Let's Paw Patrol that shit. Get the fuck off a of lift for a while. Those raggedy motherfuckers done irritated me now. So I'm going to see if I can go grab this motherfucking money on Paw Patrol right here. Shit. This fucking light ever change. Of course. There we go. All right, let's go see if I can go get this money on fucking Paw Patrol. 19 and 17. One of them's got to work out for me. Let's see which one. Here we go, baby. We on the chase. We on the fucking chase. You motherfuckers had me up here. Might as well make use of me now. Now they're going to be like, oh shit, he's on the fucking chase. Yup. Fucking the cat versus the rat, motherfucker. And you motherfuckers are the rats. I'm coming for you bitches. Y'all got me way the fuck out here. I'm going to go get some money then. Y'all want to play this fucking game. Of course, another light. Damn it. If there wasn't so many cars around, I wouldn't give a shit. I'd just run this motherfucker, but nah, I gotta wait. All right, let's go, let's go. Chase is on, let's go, motherfucker. Paw Patrol to the rescue. All right, where we at? Okay, we're gonna head over this way, drop down, see if we can get that $19. If we don't get the 19, go a little bit further, get the 17, fuck it. Like I said, this shit's like a mile away. Might as well go for it. Fuck it. I need that $19. After the shit that just happened to me, thank you, Lip, for getting me out here by this motherfucking surge. But still, it was a crock of shit for what you did. You didn't have to do that shit. Motherfuckers played me, man. Ah, you raggedy bastards. They took that shit. Guess what? We're going to U-turn any fucking ways. Let's U-turn and go back to the other way. Fuck them. U-turn. Actually, I'm going to take a break. Fuck all these surges. I'm going to take a break right here. I'm pulling this fucking park a lot and chill for a second. Like I said, maybe they'll put the surge back over there in a minute. I don't fucking know. But whatever the case may be, I'm going to sit here and relax. Fuck them. Still on Paw Patrol. They still got the 13 sitting there. So let's go see what we can do. I thought they was going to put the 19 back. They didn't. That's cool. Because I'm about to go down here any fucking ways. I could have just kept going straight and probably hit that shit and been been there by now. But and then I went through my phone, so I got a um, a reservation at 4.20 in the morning. So seven miles for 20 bucks. Airport reservation, picking up somebody from ASU and taking them to the airport. So that's not too bad. I'll do that. And that's, you know, a free $20 right there. Cause I'm gonna be, I gotta pass ASU anyways before I even go home. And I'm on this side of ASU, so that's gonna be my, you know, 20 bucks home right there. But right now, like I said, I'm I'm still kind of up north, 
where Lyft took my ass with that fucking nature hike shit. $32 fuck up. Shit happens, man. Shit happens. I got to get over it. I got to move on, man, because that shit's going to eat me alive if I don't move the fuck on. It's going to just eat me up because that shit irritates the fuck out of me. And I'm just like, man, I swear I can't stand when these apps do that shit. They, they be changing shit. That's why you everybody, y'all got to start screenshotting shit. Record shit, screenshot shit. Offers everything. Because there's something going on. These motherfuckers are lying to us. I just feel it. And I know what the fuck I'm seeing. I should have recorded that shit, but I had just dropped somebody off and I was riding. They threw that shit on my fucking screen. Man. That shit irritates the fuck out of me right there. I knew that shit said $32. I don't know, man. Shit like that, it just... It irritates the hell out of me. And I'm one of those people that I truly believe that, you know, these apps are banking on us to be busy, busy, and we not looking at our screens, we not really paying attention to shit. I believe they really do that shit. That's why they always throwing shit at us. To keep our fucking mind going, to keep our eyes on, we looking on the road, we look that's why I say pull over and do shit. You looking at the road, you looking all over the fucking place, you can't quite track what the fuck is going on. They throwing bullshit at you. Next thing you know, you think you get $9, you fucking get $6. You're like, wait a minute, I thought I got $9. You probably really did see $9, but they fucking with you because they knew you didn't have time to record the shit. And so they got your ass for three fucking dollars. They do that shit a million times, that's fucking $3 million they getting from fucking people. I'm about to hit this motherfucker $13 if I can get close enough. Shit. Because these motherfuckers right here are pissing me off. Where we at? Let's scoot over right here real quick. I ain't gonna touch my motherfucking map yet. Make sure I fucking hit that shit. All right. So I'm at 11. All right, I'm good. I'm good. They gonna give me the 13. Give me the 13. Give me the fucking 13, you rats. You fucking rats. Give me the 13. All right, I'm gonna turn right here. Where's the 13 at? All right, this has gotta go up a little bit. Okay, so it's past that. And this down this little baby ass street right here. They really fucking tuck this shit on this little baby fucking street right here. These motherfuckers are so jank. They really put a $13 surge in this neighborhood. There ain't shit over here. Let me show you something. This is where I am. This is where I am. This is somebody's fucking neighborhood. That's it. See that shit? This is a little quiet ass street with motherfucking Halloween directions and shit. Halloween motherfucking decorations and shit. Little baby ass fucking street. And they put a $13 surge on it. Speed limit is 20 motherfucking miles an hour with a goddamn speed hump. And they put a $13 fucking surge on it. Like somebody really gonna be over here looking for a fucking ride at night. This is like goddamn Mayberry. These raggedy motherfuckers, I swear, they be they be thinking motherfuckers ain't gonna go get that shit. I fucking snuck through this motherfucker. Now look, the surge is gone. After I got in Mayberry, the motherfuckers took the surge away. It was like, oh shit, somebody actually went to Mayberry? Yeah, that's right, you fucking Barney Fife motherfuckers. I got you, Andy Griffin. Motherfucking ass. Let's go back to Uber now. I'm gonna use this $13 on you raggedy motherfuckers. That's what y'all get for playing with me tonight, man, I swear. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to be over this shit pretty soon, but right now, I'm still kind of irritated about it. 20 bucks, let's take that. Let's take that. Where are we at? Oh, right across the street. Okay. Go through the light, and then we're right here at fucking Family Dollar. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> that was a quick fucking pickup. All right. Where is in it? Oh, let's see. Let's see. She must be at work right now. It's fucking crazy. I was right here. Oh, here she is. Cool, cool. She's just getting off work. Hey, Brandette. It was a pretty quick trip right there. 20 bucks for that one. And that was what? 4.5 miles and I was right there. As soon as I put it back on UberX, she was standing right at Family Dollar getting off work. That was pretty quick right there. So I was like, man, I think she was part of the cleaning crew. She kind of smelled like Clorox and bleach and shit. Or either she had to clean something up while she was at work. No telling. 
But whatever the case may be, that was a quick 20 bucks for me. I needed that $13 hit right there, man. That $13 surge came in handy. Now it's no more surge, and she lives like right at the base of the reservation. I'm right at the base of the reservation right now. So I didn't have to drive through dirt and all that shit. Thank God. Because I swear this car is way too low for that shit. I'll fuck around, rip my spoiler off again. Let me now, let's go back into lift. Because I want to see if I can. Well, I got that four. 20 appointment so i got about another hour to go maybe another hour to go and then i'll where are we at up here say 132 all right cool damn look at all that motherfucker surge all right lift y'all ready to play games man let's go play come on i'm about to hit the highway right here should i be right into the surge i could do a whole bunch of little short trips before my 420 because of if i can't get no you know good short rides like I said, I, I did some tricky shit the other night. Did some real tricky shit. Kind of threw me off. But I, you know, almost screwed myself on that damn reservation for Uber messing around with Lyft. So I don't want to try that shit again. So what I might do is just see if I can get a couple of like, little short hops. It's only 3 o'clock in the morning, 2.45. So probably somebody's just going, you know, from dorm to bar, bar to dorm, something like that. I'll get somebody night is blowing up what the hell's going on in this city it is almost three o'clock in the morning what the hell it's like nine seven or six seventy five man look at this shit. this is crazy they blowing up all over the city right now and i'm cruising around on motherfucking lux not getting no bucks let's do like this real quick uber ain't got shit jumping so what we're gonna do on uber is just turn it on and see if they if lux give me something Oh, they got $17 down the highway, $18? That's way too far, though. That's way far south, man. That's all south. All that shit's way down south. Good money, but man, that's far away. $6 for some McCrusties looking ass motherfucker. Yeah, let me turn on. Yeah, I'm turning on back real quick. Because these motherfuckers is out their mind. They think I'm going to be doing this shit. Come on, goddammit. Go to fucking pet. There we go. Yeah. But look at that shit. $18 surge to $16, $17. And that's all down in Gilbert and Chandler where I was earlier. That's all where I was earlier before I took that fucking nature hike away from there. And now they want to throw surge down there and try to get my ass back. Fuck you, raggedy motherfuckers. I was already down there. Y'all could have had me down there making bank right now. $17 for a bunch of short trips and shit like that. But instead, nope. Y'all had me do that damn nature. Well, Liv had me do a nature hike. Uber wasn't giving me nothing down there, so I had to go. Uber was like, man, not, Uber was tripping. I had to go. So here I am right here, coming up on this surge. So I'm going to jump off the highway over here, see if I can either go north or south. Depending on how much money I make, I might cancel my damn Uber reservation because Uber ain't did shit really tonight. Uber ain't, they just ain't been there tonight. Uber ain't been there for me. So I got, what, 132 on Lyft. And I got 75. Well, I got about 200 bucks so far. All right, 200 bucks. I could call it good, but I got that one reservation coming up. So I'm going to do that res, but I'm going to try to pick a few little cheap pot shots until that fucking res starts. So I don't know, man. I'm not going all night. I can tell you that much now. I would love to go till 5, but nah. These motherfuckers, they've been bullshitting me all night. I've been sitting around doing nothing. Now I got 350. They're like, hey, Jeff, we'll give you $3.50. Man, fuck that. Y'all had me do that damn nature hike. <laughs> Let's see what else they give me now. I'm about to drop down south real quick. And this is where my reservation is anyway. So I'm exactly where my reservation is. So if I can do some shit in this area for a couple of minutes, drop down, you know, do the res, go to the airport, call it a fucking night, go make me some pancakes, call that shit good. It's like, fuck it. I'm ready for some pancakes. After this night, I need some motherfucking pancakes. I need some pancakes. Cause I'm like, man, I'm tired as a motherfucker. This bullshit. This shit is giving me a goddamn headache. Lying and shit, playing with my fares, not giving me no rides when I'm in the area, and ain't nobody else in the area but me. Look at them. They blowing this shit up, man. They blowing this shit up. I'm gonna try to get down to that seven dollars instead of five mile surge. I mean, a five mile filter and shit to see what happens. So if I can stay down here plucking rides all night. As long as they're better than $3 a mile, because like I said, my reservation is only about $3 a mile. That's all it is, about three bucks a mile. So if I can get better than three bucks a mile, I'm gonna cancel that reservation. Be like, fuck that shit. 
Look at that, they got 27 lip, $27 lip rides. I bet that shit's like 40 miles. Let's see that shit. What is that? Look, what did I tell you? 45, almost 46 motherfucking miles. That's way out to Juan Vargas' house. 27 bucks to go to Juan Vargas' house. God damn, that's a long ass ride. But 27 bucks? Shit. Doubt it. Whoever take that ride, man, y'all motherfuckers is nuts. Y'all motherfuckers is nuts. $27 for like 47 miles? Man, 41. No, that's like 46. Man, that's way the hell out. Way the hell out. Oh, man. I wouldn't even, even if I lived out there, I wouldn't take that shit. I'd be like, nope. Because that's, you plan somebody. You know that person probably paid like a hundred something dollars for that ride. That's from Scottsdale all the way out to Goodyear. Somebody paid like a hundred something dollars for that ride. And they're going to give a driver $27. They're going to give a driver $27 for this shit. That's why ain't nobody taking it. It's still sitting up there. Ain't nobody taking that shit. That's an hour. That's an hour of driving on your fucking gas, your fucking time for $27. You just spent $10 in gas doing that shit. So you made $7. Look at that. That's almost 50 miles. I'm getting 25 miles a gallon. That's almost 50 miles. It cost me $5 a gallon. So that's two gallons. So it's 10 bucks off of that. Fucking seventeen dollars is all you getting for an hour. Seventeen bucks, man. They out they damn mind. Boy, they be doing some funny shit. Where am I at? I gotta hit the next street. Yeah, I'm on University now. I guess I could turn on University. If it's light change, I'm gonna make a right turn. Come on, light, hurry up and change. There you go. It changed and I'm out. Thank you. Yeah, I need to do that anyway, because I need the traffic to move out the fucking way so I can go, because I was like in the center lane. If all the traffic took off, I could just jump over to the right lane and get out of there, and that's what I did. So let's see what we can do on this side of town right now. You know, I, I kind of, you know, got pissed off about the whole Lux thing, $32 shit, got a $13 surge from Uber that I wasn't fucking really banking on. That shit just popped up out of nowhere, grabbed that, did a quick trip. Now I'm over here right now with surge, so... Let's see what we can do. Let's make this fucking money. I'll hit y'all back in a minute. I need to listen to me some music, man. I need some motherfucking Kanye West or something. Mr. West! Got an airport run. Immediately airport run. So I got to go down here to a hotel. It's a hotel sitting right here. So I'm going to pick up somebody from the Phoenix Courtyard Airport. Take them to the airport. Guess how much? 30 bucks. 30 bucks for like six miles or seven miles of driving. Something crazy like that. Like I said, I'm in the right spot right now. 2.4 miles plus about another three miles about five six miles for 30 bucks let's go let's do it let's do it okay this shit it's scheduled for 315 it is 305 right now so i gotta sit here for 10 damn minutes waiting i don't know hopefully this lady is ready hopefully she ready because i'm like you gotta be fucking kidding me you gotta be kidding me I'm gonna go to the very front and see if she's ready. Looks like she's in the front right now. So I'm gonna go down here and cruise and see if she, hopefully she is. If she is, it's a blessing because I was not looking at a scheduled pickup. I thought it was just a straight pick. Amazing. She was ready. She was ready when I pulled up. She was like, she was an NAU student. And she was just staying down here for the night. She was like, yeah, I didn't feel like driving up, you know, so I stayed here last night and you know, I'm going back now. So I was like, cool. So I picked her up and got her to the hotel real quick. She was ready. She didn't even have a bag. She had like a backpack with her and that was it. So I was like, perfect, perfect. Like I said, it's, what time is it now? Like 3.12. Her pickup was at 3.15, it's 3.12. So that schedule ride shit, I was nervous. I was like, please, please don't have me wait till 3.15. It's like 3.05 and I'm like, I gotta sit here for 10 minutes. But nope, she was ready. Picked her up, dropped off at the airport. That was an easy ride right there. Real easy ride. Bam, here we go right here. It was 5.6 miles for 30 bucks. There we go, baby. Only took me 13 minutes. I didn't have to wait. <laughs> I'll be moving, boy. I'll be moving through traffic, moving through traffic. Then what am I doing for the week? I've been online for how many hours? 13 hours. I drove for about almost seven, almost 400 bucks in about seven hours of driving. There we go, there we go, that's how we do it. I tell everybody, if you got $700 and you just moving your machine for seven hours, that's it. 400 bucks, 400 bucks and you moving your machine for seven hours, that's the kind of driving we do. Oh, and she tipped me. Oh, thank you, Miss Zoe, she's cool. $36 for six miles, almost $6 a mile. Zoe, you're too cool. Let's go and rate Miss Zoe. Tilt's an awesome lady. Oh, come on, thing. 
awesome little lady. Yep, she's a little college kid. So hopefully, you know, she does well in school this year and everything up at NAU. That's cool, Miss Zoe. And I like the way she spelled her name. She got those two little dots above it. That's how I write grooves. It's like Swedish. So I like when I do my groove wear, my groove design, I always put those two dots over the U. She had the two dots over her. I was like, that's pretty cool. So thank you, Miss Zoe, with the two dots. 406. 406 and what? Seven hours of driving. I love it. I love it. Seven hours of driving? Yeah. Online for 13, man. I'm telling you, we could do this shit. We could do it. We just got to somehow make it work. We got to make it work. I got 200 bucks sitting in there. Lippers want to steal my money. Downtown Phoenix. I can go to downtown Phoenix or I can go back to Tempe. I'm going to go back to Tempe. Because that's where my next appointment is anyway. So hopefully I can go down there, get a ride from down there. Let's see what Uber's, Uber's got going on. Uber the pooper scooper system. Because there ain't nothing but shit tonight. All right, got $75 on them. I don't know how much I got on Lyft. So $75 over on that side. Lyft's got me at $169, so I'm about $240. Bucks. So I'm about $240, plus this next one will be about $260. So I got to make $40 more. If I can bang out $40 more, I can have a $300 night. And it was a fucking slow night. This was a slow night. It was pretty shitty. I was sitting in Circle K. I wiped my car down twice. That's how slow it was. I ate one of my whole fucking crusty, dusty ass cookies. I ate one. I drank a whole bottle of juice. It was just, trust it was painfully slow, painfully slow. But it picked up and it took off. It ain't shit on Uber right now, so I'm not messing with them. Like I said, they got to they gotta do better. I'm not going to sit there and mess with them until they give me something better than that. Man, I wish I would have went downtown, though. But I got to go this way because that's where my appointment is. So let me go down to Phoenix, I mean, go down to Tempe real quick. See if I can snag another quick ride or something like that. I'm going to play me some more Kanye West. Mr. West, Mr. West. I'm going to hit y'all motherfuckers back. I'm pushing up right now. I got like a five, what, 525 surge. I can go down the street, get a 650 surge. See what I can do with that. Um, so I'm going to cruise down here real quick. See what I can do with this 650. But, yeah, I don't know, man. This is like, these people, psh, man, they're not getting like, you know, cheap prices tonight. They can't be. With all these surges out here, they cannot be getting cheap prices. So hopefully the apps are, are paying these drivers right. Hopefully they're paying them right. Because like I said, well, what we're doing out here, man, we're doing some serious driving right now. Serious driving. I know I'm in these streets. I should have never took this damn Uber appointment, but because with this 525, I got the potential to make at least, you know, $5 a mile. And I'm dealing with a $3 a mile ride. I just made a $6 a mile ride, you know, with the last airport run at $36 for like less than six miles. So I just did a $6 a mile ride with that one. So I got the potential to do another four to five dollar a mile ride, but I got this three dollar a mile sitting on Uber as a reservation. I know people are like, man, three dollars is good. Yeah, it's good, but but opportunity costs, man, is some good ass money out here right now. It's been shitty all night. They finally put money on the table for anybody that's awake and that actually made it this far. It's a game, man. What it's like playing motherfucking Mario Brothers. What stage did you make it to? Did you make it to King Koopa? Did you make it to motherfucking the goddamn turtles? Where'd you make it to? You gotta make it to a certain level. And right now it's 321 in the morning. We at King Cooper right now. We sitting there trying to fight this motherfucker, get the turtle on his back so we can get some more money and shit, get some more coins out of Mario Brothers. We seeing what we can do. And so right now being on Uber as a reservation is $3 a mile. I could do better than $3 a mile right now. It's just, I gotta play it right. You gotta decline the right rides, accept the right rides. That's what the trick is. Let me go back over to Uber real quick. Cause I'm offline right now. See, they ain't got shit going right now. So I'm gonna go online. I think I still got them on Uber Pet. So I'm gonna turn their ass on. But I think I got, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on, man. Yeah, I got Uber Pet on right now. Now they saying that they're busy on UberX. And they probably are, cause they got a lot of shitty ass fucking fares out. So we gonna let the surge build up on UberX. We're not gonna touch UberX right now. Just let that shit sit. I'm at 29% AR, 34% cancellation. So my cancellations are going down. It was at like 36%, I think. It was up there. So, like I said, I'm, I haven't been able to, to do much on Uber tonight. So it's like the, the least I do on Uber is like the better my scores be. The more I do on Uber, my shit be going downhill because Uber sucks. For real, these motherfuckers, they suck sometimes. And I'll tell them motherfuckers that they face, even Dara said they suck sometimes. That's just how shit is. Let me go over here. 20 bucks for that ride. 
Yeah, no tip on that one. I got to follow the tip on that one. Look at that. Man, these are crazy rides. 4.5 miles for $20.66. You know, a mile and at 1.9 miles, 19.92. It's crazy, crazy. 1.5 miles, 14.20. 11.16 uh, $11 for 3.8 man I'm telling you some of these rides nine dollars for you know 1.3 miles some of these rides are okay man they're really okay but uber just not been giving me shit tonight I mean $75 worth of trips tonight and I've been online with these motherfuckers for how long like two hours I've been running with them for a couple of hours and that's the best they can do I maybe only drove with them for about an hour total but you know they they can do better I think they can do better I mean, here are my minutes, seven minutes right there. Let's say eight minutes there, seven minutes there. So that's 15 minutes of driving. Another five makes that 20 minutes of driving. Another 10 makes it 30 minutes of driving. And that's 36 minutes of driving. So all night I've driven 36 minutes. I've actually driven 36 minutes for them, but that's not counting the time it took me to get to them. So add another, let's say 30 minutes. So I probably drove an hour, six minutes. So an hour six minutes, seventy five bucks. But you know my my thing here says two hours and one minute. So it was probably about you know fifty minutes of dead time of sitting around scouting and shit like that. Almost an hour sitting around scouting, trying to find good rides, declining shit, canceling shit. So so for the week, you know, I only made two seventy five with those motherfuckers, and I made what four oh six. So about. 700 bucks almost 700 bucks between both apps and it's just friday i still got saturday to go if i can make 300 dollars between saturday and sunday that's a grand i made this week a grand i made and i didn't even drive a whole lot so let's do this let's just cash out with these motherfuckers real quick just cash out just because that's too much money to be sitting on live i don't trust those janky motherfuckers <laughs> they fuck around and be like oh let's hurry up and deactivate his ass at 4 a.m fuck you raggedy motherfuckers deactivate me all you want to i got my money I don't know what Uber's got sitting on it though. I have no idea. Let's see what Uber's got sitting in here. Probably like 50 bucks. Come on, man. Quit that shit. What Uber's got? 153. Oh, shit. That's too much on Uber, too. Cash out of that shit. Wait. Oh, man. I won't be able to cash out Saturday. Let me see if I can do this. Okay, cool. Cashed out. All right. So we got rid of all that money. I don't, half the time, I don't even know how much money is sitting on these fucking apps. Because I just drive, 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 drive. And I don't look at my totals that much. I should. Because these motherfuckers deactivate me. I'll run the risk of losing a lot of fucking money. I need to pay more attention to that shit. So, I just downloaded both of those. Got that shit out the way. Like I said, it's like, man. 525 bonus. Come on, man. You raggedy motherfuckers got to give me something. I got that 420 appointment. And Uber going to lock my phone up at about probably close to four o'clock because i'm literally by the hotel where my reservation is so they're gonna lock me up at about four o'clock so live better act act now or forever fucking lose your goddamn deal the night whoo those are all my lift rides right there 212 dollars worth of rides jeez lift ran me ragged tonight oh and i just got a tip too oh hold up for a second let me go back in here 212 worth of rides 22206 worth of rides man and this guy here, the last one I just took, the one who just tipped me, this guy is an actual professional comedian. <laughs> Ain't that some shit? His name is Matthew Storrs, S-T-O-R-R-S. -R -R -S. So he's on YouTube. You can look up Matthew Storrs on YouTube, S-T-O-R-R-S. -R -R -S. That's the guy I just dropped off at the airport. We got to go show him some love on YouTube. He says, oh, yeah, I got some content on YouTube. I'm like, cool, I'm going to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this dude is cool. He started here in Phoenix. He told me about his whole career. 14-year comedian, started here in Phoenix. Now he's up in New York, does, you know, comedy and all. Man, I want to check out his material. This guy, he's, he's pretty cool right here. And he actually gave me some, like, some tips and pointers on comedy. Like, not that I'm a comedian or nothing, but I just like to know, like, what goes on in comedians' minds. Like, what makes them think of the stuff they come up with. Like, the shit's funny. I think it's funny. And so I like to know how does it become so funny. So yeah, thirty-eight dollars for that eighteen. So two dollars a mile. Thank you, Matt. Oh man, man. Twenty-six dollars for twenty-one miles. Nah, fuck that. Nope, y'all not get me with that shit. Twenty-one miles, twenty-six dollars for a lux, and that's way down south to come all the way back. Nah, y'all ain't get me with that shit. Nope, nope. 
and that's no surge or nothing connected to it plus nah fuck that nope i already see what the game is they try not to throw me a surge they trying to get me to go pick up motherfuckers with no surge and shit that's 21 miles of driving for 26 dollars on lux it's like no i'm cool on that shit i'm done for the night man so i did 222 on that side and on the uber side i did uh let's see what do i do on the uber side let me get rid of this luck shit okay on uber i did that was my last uber trip was 20 bucks 79 so like what was that 99 dollars or 100 dollars so i did 100 dollars on uber because that's my 20 2018 and then you go over here so about 99 dollars in like 77 cents 99 77 about 100 bucks and then 222 on Uber. so i did over 300 dollars over 300 bucks not bad not bad just riding around scouting picking motherfuckers up from what time i started tonight until now now is i ended my last ride at about you know five o'clock in the morning so i'm headed my ass back home right now i'm actually right around the corner from my house because i that's me i live by the airport so i did the airport drop now i'm headed back Lyft is trying to get me to do airport rides, but Lyft needs to know. I don't play that shit. Don't have me trying to do no jank ass rides and shit this early in the morning, knowing that's far from my house. She give me a tip? Nah, she didn't give me a tip. The twenty dollars? Nah. She's just a kid. She don't have to give me a tip. She was a kid. Yeah, but damn, three hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Two twenty-two plus ninety-nine. Mean damn, you know, quick, quick three hundred dollar day, and it's fucked up because. I needed to make 300 because I spent 290 this morning getting them damn palm trees cut. It's like shit. I had to spend 290 dollars this morning. I was sleeping. I, I put some shit on TikTok. I was sleeping. Motherfucker chainsaw woke me up. So I was like, damn. But the dude was cool. He told me 70 dollars a tree for four trees, so it was 280. So I gave him 290. It was, you know, I gave him like a little 10 dollar tip on there. So I gave him 290 instead of 280. Got my palm trees taken care of. They'll be good for about another year and a half. I ain't got to worry about them motherfuckers. They ain't gonna have shit like all over my yard, man. Cause palm trees are messy, very messy trees. So you gotta get them trimmed so you don't get messes everywhere. But yeah, like I said, I need today. I needed this Friday. This Friday came through clutch, came through clutch. So I hope everybody got out. I'm glad I did that huddle this morning. Like I said, before I went out, I'm glad I did the little quick huddle cause I needed that huddle more than anybody else needed it. Cause it's been some shitty riding out here, some real shitty riding. So hopefully I get back go home eat a little bit traffic starting to build up so i'm glad to be getting off the road right now and shit i'll probably edit this video and drop it